Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and in this video we will discuss what is the rationale behind giving phototherapy in neonatal jaundice. Before going in detail, please subscribe my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. So this is the picture of phototherapy. Fine, which is given as a treatment in neonatal jaundice or physiological jaundice. So before going in the detail of mechanism of giving phototherapy in the treatment of neonatal jaundice, first we should know what is neonatal or physiological jaundice. So neonatal or physiological jaundice, it occurs almost in all the newborn infants in the first two weeks of life. It occurs due to the excessive destruction of RBCs or erythrocytes. It occurs due to the immature hepatic system for the uptake as well as for the conjugation of bilirubin. And it also occurs due to the reduced activity of UDP glucuronide transferase enzyme in the newborn. So these are the reasons why this physiological jaundice occurs in the newborn infants. And this condition becomes normal within two weeks of life and it doesn't require any type of treatment. However, when the plasma bilirubin level increase or go beyond 20 mg per deciliter, this bilirubin crosses the blood brain barrier and it gets deposited in the brain tissue and it causes connectors and mental retardation. As discussed, when the plasma level exceeds 20 mg per deciliter, it crosses the blood brain barrier and it deposited in the brain tissues and it causes conic terrors that causes mental retardation. To prevent this, we are giving phototherapy in the new neonatal jaundice. Phototherapy is basically exposure of newborn infants to the ultraviolet light, specifically blue color light and the wavelength of this light is in between 460 to 490 nanometer. Remember the wavelength of light is the 460 to 490 nanometer wavelength. So the child is exposed to this blue color light and the eyes are covered to prevent the damage to the retina. Now what is the mechanism of action of using this blue color light in the treatment of neonatal jaundice. So what happens in the neonatal jaundice or in the jaundice, bilirubin is present mainly in the Z isomer form. And this Z isomer is mainly toxic and water insoluble. Why it is water insoluble? Because this Z isomer is present in such conformation which allow intramolecular bonding favoring the hydrophobic property. This JADO isomer, it is present in such conformation which allow intramolecular bonding favoring hydrophobic interaction. But with the help of phototherapy, this J isomer is converted into the E isomer. And in the E isomer, there is no any intramolecular bonding. So this water insoluble is converted into the water soluble and excitable form. And this E isomer, it is also known as the lumirubin. Right? So this is the rationale behind giving phototherapy in neonatal jaundice or physiological jaundice. Thank you for watching. Thank you.